Hey, everybody. Um, I'm back again. I am with Evan. Hi, Evan. How are you? Doing well. Good afternoon. Good afternoon. So Evan is with Anna Maria of Aurora. Um, and uh, what is your role over there? Well, for Anna Maria, I do a couple different things. I do marketing for the campus of Anna Maria of Aurora. So that consists of our Anna Maria buildings, our Kensington buildings, uh, even working with our atrium at Anna Maria buildings. Uh, you know, community awareness, outreach, uh, working with families on educating them on what uh, Anna Maria is all about, uh, being a continuum care residential community. Uh, we have all levels of senior care under one roof on one campus, that type of thing. Mm -hmm. uh, the marketing piece, as well as doing admissions specifically to uh, our assisted living program that is at Anna Maria of Aurora. Okay. Uh, so I work with the families, getting mom, dad, mom and dad here, uh, getting that apartment secure, getting them all settled in uh, into their new home, and helping them with services they might need to do that so okay and I am sure that things have been a little different over at Anna Maria um, yeah, yeah. <laughs> as they are. you know what the most like I it, it's so hard to think about it as a whole because you just get so overwhelmed at the fact that literally every household in the world almost is going through the same exact thing and that is a really interesting thing to grasp right and, you know? and for, for our you know we are right now uh, as of last night today officially we're supposed to be staying home uh, so families are having to do that uh, our residents are experiencing that already because they haven't even been able to leave the campus leave their apartments or have family uh, come and visit. Now they we're doing right now what we're doing a lot of is we're walking around and FaceTiming with our residents. So our activity staff has pretty much had to put in the clutch, shift gears now rather than working on activities and outings now is getting to each resident um, and getting to do that, you know, that Skype, that FaceTime, whichever uh, application mm -hmm. you use and to to kind of embellish on that to see the families um, I just did a FaceTime with one of our residents is 99 years old and you know she doesn't have a clue what this is okay right and to be able to look down and see her daughter's face her granddaughter's face of uh, just you know she was just so excited yeah and uh, maybe at a, at a different time I would have done it it would have been like oh, I'm gonna see her tomorrow you know where well, now we don't know so yeah. it's been so rewarding uh, you know in a selfish kind of way for me to be able to do that our activity staff is doing that um, so that is what we're trying to do to uh, you know try to keep people in touch with their families uh, I had one son come in uh, and put in a bird feeder and while he's putting the bird feeder and sure hey mom and in, in the window there you know sure. <clears throat> had a little talk with her so that was uh -huh. nice. I, I got to do a, um, my dad's in an elderly care right. facility and I got to do uh, one of those yesterday um, and he again doesn't know you know he sometimes you know with with the dementia disease it, it, it's you know I can't go to the window and wave to him because that would be very frustrating and upsetting to him right. um, on why why isn't she just coming in right. you know so um, but in in a you know, with dementia and elderly, it is so important to connect with somebody and inter interact with somebody and exercise. I mean, those are two huge things for their own physical growth or, or you know, to keep them um, healthy. How do you, you know, with the exercising and the interacting, like how are you doing it, obviously, in, in this different climate? different world what we're working on actually is so we can't do we have a, a great yoga program here with you know we can't do those kind of group things residents are still encouraged to walk not just in their apartment but to get out and and walk our corridors our building at Anna Maria is all one floor so there's no steps or elevators so they have a nice footprint it's okay and I tell them get out and walk mm -hmm. we don't have 
50 people all in the hallways at one time. So I just had a resident walk by my office and I haven't seen anybody for a while, but they're encouraged to get out. Uh, they will even tell me I got to keep moving. And I said, please do. Um, because they're not even coming out for meals. Meals are delivered to their apartments. Yeah, I, I don't know if that's that's something that people don't realize that you know when um, they're that that they don't have that social anymore in these in the elderly care places. They have been set told no more of the gathering. Right. Uh, that just has to be really really hard. And that's why even if they can come out for a walk. <laughs> you have to be prepared for at least a five minute conversation. And, and I, our staff does a really good job of stopping and then their mind, they're going, I have to be there. <laughs> but you take that time uh, because this is so precious right now to be able yeah. to at least have a conversation with someone. Speaking and, of staff, like God bless them because um, you know, they're then limited um, and, and in, in the elderly care uh, umbrella, it's already, or bubble, it's already difficult to find staff. And now, yeah, yeah. you know, now are you able to uh, get the word out? You know, we have so many people right now who are looking for work. Um, Thanks to you. You've got a lot of word out for us. We actually had, uh, we've had some positions that we're able to fill. I think we filled about 14 new positions and wow. uh, their support staff because, and these are people that came to us from uh, uh, that output we did out on uh, the internet and that you forwarded out people that are out of work right now. Mm -hmm. And so we're, if we need some, we just need some home, home care, uh, health workers, things like that, that can be that support staff. Uh, so we're able to bring in some folks from that, which has been fantastic. Uh, and get them orientate, orientated to the building and what specific things uh, we do. Everyone right now on campus wears many hats. So uh, I helped with breakfast distribution the other morning. Uh, so because it, it was kind of new, so we're all learning, okay, I, I'll push the cart and the home health aid is helping is because they're seeing the resident anyway. You know, here's breakfast. So I'm not dietary, but doesn't matter you know and the whole staff is embracing that um, to stepping up to whatever the new task might be mm -hmm. uh, we are blessed with every day that things stay on the norm uh, as close as possible this is the new norm for now and hopefully it just stays this way we hope and pray but at the same time we've got to be prepared for the next step that could be so sure, sure. Uh, and ready for the challenge I mean I one one of our uh, nurses said, "Well, this is this is what I signed up for. You know, it is to help people, but at the same time, it can be in that critical time that, you know, I don't think any of us fathomed uh, this to be what it is. So, mm -hmm. uh, yeah. so that's that's kind of where we're at. We're seeing everyone join together, and I've seen residents though, um, you know, would like to see their loved ones are they're actually thanking us." So that's a good piece that they understand. Uh, some of them even said, I think I'm in the, the best place I can be considering the circumstance. So, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Uh, and, and I have to mention too, that Anna Maria is owned locally um, by uh, the Norton family. Correct. Um, and I tried to grab Tried to grab Chris Norton down here and Aaron, uh, but lots of things are going on today. So I don't uh, think we could have put you and Chris like <laughs> I, we would have had to have him on a whole yeah. different screen. I that was slouched down in his chair for me. <laughs> for those of you who don't know Chris, Chris is very tall. So um, He's six and five. Then, yeah. yeah, and then I went to school with oh the other um, um, gentleman. Um, Aaron Baker? No. Yes. Oh, what, and Aaron? Oh, okay. Yes, Jill. Oh, okay. I went to high school with Jill. Okay. Small world, small world. Yeah. Um, so what are you doing uh, for yourself to, to kind of keep uh, any new hobbies that you've discovered or want to, uh, <laughs> want to well, learn? Everything's getting done in the house. And uh, <laughs> a honey-do list may oh, get yeah. done. Yep. 
that that we are but uh even the same thing at work here uh it's we're we're having to change to do uh virtual uh meetings with families virtual tours and uh skyping the hallways and and things like that and uh and uh, even here uh, getting things done that haven't been done that we need to get done uh, so you do but, do virtual tours because somebody yeah. was asking that okay. uh, depending on the device an individual has will make it work okay uh, that's good to I've know sent, i've sent still pictures i can send video um you know so depending on the circumstance sometimes it's sometimes you have four or five family members all coming together to try to make this decision so i can maybe skype with one and then send pictures to the other and then I'll call this person back. I'll Skype with this one. And uh, I haven't figured out how to multi-Skype. Oh, um, my gosh. Yeah. To, like, well, like you can do it here Skype. on Zoom. You could you can add, add a whole bunch oh, of people on here. That's what I have to do, and I can just pick up my laptop. And exactly. <laughs> or you could, do, you could do Zoom on your phone. Oh, okay. That would yes. be a little more that, mobile. So, yeah, you could be mobile on your phone and invite or have happy hour, virtual happy hour, one or the other. Yeah, we've had a family said, uh, I talked with a, a company we're working with with our website, and they did a, uh, a, a Skyping uh, dinner party. Love that. So at the dining room table, there was a, a computer, and then everyone had their own, you know, a Zoom meeting uh, for a dinner party. So <laughs> I mean, it, we d it's just a time where you just have to, um, Marianne Bryce from the Valley Arts Center said the word pivot. I mean, you, you mm -hmm. have to, or you're going to get lost in this. Yeah. You know, you, you have to, especially these businesses, um, you have to get creative um, and find a way to continue to connect to, with a client or customer or whatever uh, your person looks like, but you have to. And, you know, other, other local businesses have been uh, very supportive, uh, and we in turn are trying to support them. We, you know, uh, we like to do, we always like to have fun lunch here as a staff, so uh, they're loving the to-go orders uh, where they'll deliver and they're very thank you. You know, yes. we like to get those to-go orders. So we're trying our best to support them too, as well as they're helping us. Everyone right. seems to be reaching out and uh, that's so that's great. What needs so that's what's nice. So great. And is there anything that you would like to share with uh, with the folks before we we leave each other? Uh, virtually? Just that, uh, you know, uh, if uh, the, the, the only thing is if we are still open for business and if you have family, if you have questions uh, about uh, a senior, uh, feel free to reach out. Just don't think that we're not answering the phone. Uh, we are there to help, whether it's uh, uh, able to help someone if they need to move into a, a, a senior living program or they just need help with home care. We still have our home care with family tree home care. Um, you know, feel free to reach out to us. Where? We can help as best we can. Okay, so. Oh, here you go. <laughs> exactly. And, and I enjoy my cold beverage every day. <laughs> love it. I love it. You know, it's so, it's just so funny. I, you know, we never, Jessica and I never grab things when it comes to our events. Um, but somehow in the last, couple events I've I, I've grabbed these are all yeah. members um, stuff so uh, I tried to order more than sanitizer not happening oh I'm sure of it I am sure of it um, yeah so uh, and a side note to uh, blood banks are in need uh, yes. so I know that if you see a blood drive in the neighborhood you're able to do it make sure you are because of the fact they are still doing them but people aren't doing them as much now, so yeah. and it doesn't go away. So yeah, for sure, for sure, as as well as the food banks as well, yep. um, they are are definitely in need. Um, so and if you're you know afraid to head to the food bank or you don't want to go out, you know a check, send a check. So um, yep. so where could they find you? What's your website? Uh, that's very simple. Anna Maria of Aurora dot com is our website uh, it's newly updated as well as questions about uh, the current corona uh, what's the action is going on we have right on the home page in red is information that uh, people would need to know uh, about them living here at Anna Maria or just in general 
Uh, most of these rules are going to apply to any uh, independent or assisted living or nursing home facility. So, uh, And what about a phone number that they could get you at? Best phone number is 330-562-0600. Uh, all right, I'm going to put it right there after I, after we hang up and I edit. Perfect. Uh, well, thank you, Evan, for joining us, and uh, you stay well. I plan on it. Everyone stay well, and God bless. All right, we'll see you later. Thanks, Evan. Bye, thanks. Have a great one. Bye-bye. Yep.